Recursion 1 changed PI. Given a string, compute recursively a new string where all appearances of PI or PI have been replaced by 3.14. Okay, so let's go over example cases first. <clears throat> so the first one is XPIX. So we replace PI with 3.14 to get X 3.14X. Similarly, we can apply the same um, rule for the rest. So for here, it's PI, PI. So PI, we will, we will replace with 3.14. PI here, we will replace with 3.14 to get this string. And for the final case, PI, we will, we will replace with 3.14. And the last P character does not have an I next to it, so it can't be PI. PI. So we just add that P to the end. So how do we solve this? So this is very similar to the previous recursion problems we've seen. So we can just apply those same principles here. Um, so I'll just show you a sample case. Um, so let's go with XPIX. Okay, so XPIX. Um, we will look at the first two characters. Those are X and P. X and P do not equal PI. So we know um, that we can just keep the first character as it is not part of any um, PI appearance. So we'll just keep the first character and apply that same recursion to the rest of the string. Okay, so here we have PIX. The first two characters are PI, we can replace that th with 3.14. And here we know that we cannot use that I anymore as we've replaced it with 3.14. So the only part that we um, add to the recursion, or we compute recursively, is x. Okay, so now we have x. x is one character long, and we know that pi will not fit in a string with a length less than two characters because it requires two characters. Therefore, we can just return whatever it is, which is x. Okay, so we can just um, implement those principles here. So when str.length is less than 2, then we know that pi will not fit in that string, so we can just return that string. And then else, we can take the first two characters, um, like so. Um, here we are starting at 0 and going all the way to 3, we do not include 3. And then we can just, um, if the first two characters equals equal um, pi, then we can just return 3.14 because we're replacing pi with 3.14 and then compute recursively for what is left. And what is left is str.substring starting at 3 and continuing, starting at index 3 and continuing. Um, my bad, so this should start at 2 actually because um, it's 0, 1 are the first two characters um, and then 2 is a third character, which we will be excluding here, but including here. Okay, so now, um, if it does not equal pi, which means that we can just return the first character. And then we apply that same recursion to the rest of the string. And that should work. There was an error, line 5. Okay, I forgot a parenthesis there, and that works. Great.